So we started putting some fencing up. This is our this is our janky way of fencing. So this is what we decided would be a cost-effective way to get some privacy. I bought fence panels. Now these were not expensive. They were already put together. Um, I think they were like, it's been a while since I bought them. They were like 25 to 50 bucks each. Um, and then we bought T-posts. You can see those green T-posts right there. So we hammered those in the ground and then we screwed the T-posts to the fence. Um, two on this side and then one on the other side. And they back right up to this hedge. This hedge is at least 80 feet long. So it, it provides us privacy during the summer and it's not a lot of privacy um, you could still see through it if you're looking but the fence just provides so much more privacy for us and I am so excited about it I cannot wait till we get it finished we did three yesterday and then it's going to take about four more to get down to the end there and then we're going to cross it over um, like a L to the garage um, now I the only thing that is disappointing is that I will lose all the green view that I had with the hedge. However, I'll be getting back a lot of privacy and I really like that. I enjoy it. Um, I like that for my girls. It also acts as a noise barrier, barrier for us. And when we first moved into this house there was a fence there already it was put up exactly like this with the t-post that's where we got the idea from and um, it was just so old so it was crumbling so we took it down and it's just taken us a while to um, get something back up so I'm excited to have it um, this going back up right now so eventually we'll get that whole thing done for this side of privacy then we'll do the back area where um that area straight in the back there to get some privacy that way and then we're gonna leave the side that goes this way open um and just have like what we have there is just like panels, you know, wire panels, um, very similar to, actually it's probably the same material as what I'm using for this trellis here. So just like cattle fencing, you know, things like that, um, just to help keep the animals back. Nothing that we're doing is going to keep, um, uh, how do I want to say it? It will keep some things out, you know, but any determined animal would be able to get, still get in our yard. That's not what, why we're doing it. We understand that animals are going to get in, but we are putting this up for privacy, and that's pretty much the only reason uh, is for privacy. So um, we get the added benefit of animals maybe avoiding, you know, the fencing just because it might just be too too difficult to get in here and want to get to any of our gardens or pets so that's one thing that we're banking on with the fence is that it will just kind of be a deterrent but not you know like I said if anything's determined it will get back here that's not why we're doing it so um, and then I'm gonna try to put a fence up or not a fence but make some kind of gate for there and then a gate for the back area there to get to our compost bin. So yeah. So that's just a little, I don't know if I've been updating you guys on that. I think I've mentioned the fence before, um, us wanting it and when I bought the panels. Um, so yeah, that's update on that. But today I have two containers to plant and then a couple of those um, proven winter perennials that I opened that, um, that I unboxed for you guys a couple of days ago. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So 
So this Virginia is one of the plants that I unboxed with you from Proven Winners. And I'm actually thinking I'm going to stick her right in that spot where she is. I think she'll look so good in this bed here. She adds a different leaf texture, which I like. And then she's, she's still that solid green, but she's going to have some really pretty blooms in the spring. Now this plant is thick, it's juicy, it is just a hardy, hardy plant. And it is cold tolerant, it goes down to my zone 5, and then it goes down, I think even to like zone 4. So it's a good little plant to have in the garden. Um, I cannot, re I do have others in my garden and I'm trying my hardest right now to remember. I believe they do hold their foliage all winter, maybe. I'm not 100% on that. If I if I remember, I'll stick it on the screen to let you guys know. But um, even, even if not, they are so gorgeous spring, summer, and fall. So I'm going to plant that in that spot. That canna behind it. And then I have another canna right here. These are going to get potted into... Um, bushel baskets and if you guys follow have followed me at least since last summer I plant I like to plant in bushel baskets I do have one back there um, that has a plant in it already that is from several years old they do deteriorate these are not long lasting um, I got these to last for two seasons so two summers the um, my prior bushel baskets lasted me so I expect expect these guys to last me for two summers as well so I'm gonna plant those up today and they're gonna go right there where my potato is and one's gonna go on that end and then if I have the energy I am going to plant my hardy elephant ear which I did not get a chance to and then I'm gonna find a spot for this Hookera right here, wild berry. That's one of the new ones. Um, and then let me show you the other ones that I planted of the new. So we've got the midnight velvet sedum here, and then the butter pecan echinacea, and then the um, silver linings um, artemisia. And then up here is a cone flower that is um, what's that one called? It's not a proven winners, but it is a gorgeous cone flower. Um, I have the name inside um, my screen and porch, and I'll put it on the screen. But gorgeous as well. Um, I dug out some space in this bed and like made it bigger. And then I took the cut flower garden, edged it, made it a little bigger. I'm a plant. I think this is gonna kind of be a perennial area here in the front and then plant my cut flowers in the back. We'll see. Um, I'm not exactly sure how this space is gonna turn out because we initially we were talking about just cutting this whole grass out, which I do want to do, get rid of the grass in this space. It's small. Um, I was thinking about adding some more raised beds here and then maybe even adding a little seating spot um, for like a bench or something and then making the rest just uh, um, like a planting space so we'll see Every, everything in small doses definitely won't be able to get all of that done this year I'm not even going to try I have other things that I want to do so we will work little by little figuring out what to do with this space but as of right now um, this is what it looks like and I'll continue um, to put more plants this way I, like I said I'm thinking perennials in the front and then I have them backed by my annual um, cut flower space every year I also like to do um, uh, my berries up there and I really need to work on my berry game because all I've got up there are blackberries and then I've got um, what are these other berries? And I don't even really like them. They are Japanese. They're, I think there's some kind of um, yaz berries or yeast berries. Yeah, that I planted up there. And I tried one and I was like, ooh. But anyway, <laughs> so what I would love is to have 
blueberries up there and raspberries up there um, for sure because those things are definitely berries that we like in our house so yeah all right let me start planting things i'm doing a lot of talking and it's starting to feel like a tour So they are both planted. They look amazing. I used um, kind of leftover stuff. So I had some leftover petunias. Um, these were store-bought. I have some lemon balm that I grew from seed, some colas I grew from seed, some canna tubers, or not canna tubers, but um, <sighs> caladium tubers that I had started and um, they started to wake up they just aren't they just weren't fully leafed out yet so i planted those in there um what else did i put in there i think that's about it i think they look really good they're going to be pretty this summer um give them a week or two to kind of actually just give them a couple days and they'll start to perk up the bushel baskets are so cute I love using these. These I get from like your farm store. So I bought these from Rural King, but I think you can get them from, uh, what's the other one called? Some other farm store. What's it? I'll put it on the screen because I cannot remember it this second. But um, yeah, and they were $5.99. Last year they were $4.99, but I only got two this year, so. Yep, they look great. So let me know what you guys think of these in the comments section. Like I said, I've used them for two years so far and they have done really well growing plants. Now they don't last long, but they are gorgeous. And last year I had cannas in bushel baskets and they did really, really well. I did not punch a drainage hole in here because um, water will seep through these baskets. They'll be fine. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.